Hey guys, what's up? My name is Rebecca, and if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. I have a new challenge for the month of January. I'm sharing this video now, so if you guys want to participate with me, you can feel free to do so. So for the entire month of January, I'm doing a no spend January, which means I'm not going out and spending any extra money except for things that I absolutely necessarily have to. I am setting up my own list of rules. Please stay tuned to the end of this video if you would like to see what those rules are. In the meantime, I have put together a few tips for you guys so you can prepare yourself if you wanna participate in this challenge and get yourself ready to actually make yourself be successful for No Spend January. First things first, I think if you're going to be successful with this challenge, you want to come up with a reason why you want to participate in this and then a goal that you're looking forward to at the end of this challenge. For me, I'm doing this because December is finally just about over and I have just finished spending a ton of money for Christmas and I'm looking forward to not having to go out and spend any money, any extra money on anything. And then I haven't quite come up with um, like a goal of what I'm gonna do with the money that I save. Um, for me, I guess for now, it's just gonna go into my savings account. I don't have like a, anything that I'm planning, like a trip or anything like that, which would be nice, but you know, I'm gonna put it in my savings account and keep it there for a later date. So when I do come up with something, I can spend it then. So first two things, know your why and know your goal. Once you've specified your reason for why you're going to do this and a goal for what you're gonna do with the money you wanna spend, there's a couple other things that you're gonna to wanna to do before you participate in this challenge just to make sure that you can actually be successful. So number one, I think goes without saying, is to keep paying your monthly bills. Obviously, I'm going to pay the bills that I have for the month of January. I don't think the mortgage company would appreciate me just not paying the bill because I decided to participate in a no spend January. So keep spending money on the bills that you have. Um, that's number one. Next thing you want to do is make up your own rules for this challenge. You can do whatever you want. You can be as strict as you want, or you can be as lenient as you want, or you can land somewhere in the middle. It really is totally up to you and how you want to participate in this challenge. So along with making your own rules, I would say to get a calendar and write down all the events that you have coming for the month of January or whatever month you decide that you want to participate in this challenge with. This doesn't have to just be January. If you have birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, things like that that you need to either attend or buy a gift for, go ahead and plan for that. So put that into your spending plan if you do have things that you have to buy for. I'm choosing the month of January, one, because I've just ended December spending a ton of money, and two, I don't really have anything going on in the month of January. I don't have birthdays or weddings or anniversaries or anything like that that I really need to attend. I hope <laughs> I need to follow my own rules and make a calendar for myself. But that's why I'm doing it in this month because there's really not much that I need to go out and buy right now. Another thing you might want to do is take a look at your bank statement from the past couple months. Maybe December isn't the greatest example because we're all spending extra money in that month, but take a look at uh, a couple of months and see what your spending habits are. Do you have a budget in place already and are you straying from that budget? If you are, maybe you'll start to see some trends if you look back at your um, bank statements to see where you tend to spend money the most. Maybe money that you don't necessarily need to spend. Maybe you're going to Starbucks all the time or maybe you're like me and you're making a weekly trip to the thrift store. Um, sometimes I just can't help it. I just find myself there. I mean, what are you going to do? So take a look at your bank statement, see what your spending habits are, and then if you're having a like a, if you're struggling to come up with rules for yourself, that'll be a good indicator for you to see where you can stop spending money that maybe you don't necessarily need to spend. Another thing too is just to be aware of what triggers your spending habits. Uh, for me, sometimes it's boredom. Um, maybe it's a good sale for you. Maybe you're bored too and you're just going to buy things just to buy things that you don't really need but you're bored and you just feel like going to pick something up. That happens to a lot of people, I think. Um, 
And there are a lot of good sales happening right now. There's, you know, Christmas is over, so there's all those sales, and then there's year-end sales of people just trying to get rid of inventory. So maybe January isn't the best month for you to do this, or maybe you work some of those things into your rules that you're setting for yourself. So, you know, maybe you, you put in a rule that you can visit a sale or something like that. It's totally up to you. You can customize this challenge however you want. Another thing you can do to make sure that you're staying on track with your no spend January is to make a list of things that you can do that are free. I'm a homebody. I, I don't like to go out. I like to be home because I'm safe and warm and cozy here. Um, but maybe you're not like me. Maybe you like to go out and you like to do things and you like to be active and go to events and stuff like that. So. Um, Plan some things that you can do at home or things that just don't cost any money. Read a book that you already have. I know for me, I have a ton of books that I haven't read yet. Um, so you could do that. You could go for a walk, have coffee at home with a friend. There's so many things that you can do. Um, do some organization, which I'm going to have some videos coming up on some organization that I'm going to be doing in my own home, which I find organization like fun, relaxing, calming. So if you have something like that that you can do that's gonna be free, that you don't have to spend any money on, plan for things like that so you can make yourself more successful for this challenge. All right, here's my rules. These are the things that I've put in place for myself that I've said I'm absolutely not doing these things for the entire month of January. First thing, I am not buying any coffee that does not come from my own home. This won't be very difficult for me because it is pretty rare that I'm going out and buying coffee at some place like Starbucks or Dunkin Donuts. I just feel like, for me, it's a waste of money. If you are a regular coffee drinker and that's your little treat, fine. Then put that into your budget if you're doing this challenge, depending upon how strict you're gonna be with yourself. For me, I am perfectly happy with making coffee at home and not going out and spending $5 a cup. So that's number one for me. Number two no takeout, no drive through no going out to dinner for the entire month of January. Takeout is another thing that won't be very difficult for me to do. It's very rare that I go through any sort of fast food drive through place, unless we're like in a super mega hurry and the kids all have some place that they need to be. Otherwise, that won't, won't be difficult. What will be difficult for me is um, not getting pizza because we get pizza a couple times a month probably so that one will be a little bit difficult for me and then I also don't go out to dinner a ton we we just eat at home so um, but I do sometimes go out to dinner with my husband and we don't actually go out very often with the kids because it's expensive like to take a family of four out to dinner can get very pricey but for the entire month of January none of us will be going out to dinner well at least not for me because I won't be buying dinner, not spending money on it. These next few are gonna be really hard for me, and this, this next one especially, so I'm not making any trips to the thrift store. Wah wah. I love going to the thrift store. I go at least once a week. I've been twice in the past two days because I know that I'm not allowed to go the entire month of January, so I stocked up on a couple things because they're constantly putting new things out. I'm a sucker for getting glass jars there um, and like containers and stuff like that um, or just things that I need, quote unquote. I guess I don't necessarily need them, but there they are things that I use and I just love going to the thrift store. So I won't be doing that for the whole month of January, which is going to be the very most difficult thing for me to do. Um, another thing that will be difficult for me is not making any extra trips to the grocery store. Obviously, along with paying all of my monthly bills for the month, that includes buying groceries for my family. Um, my problem is taking extra trips to the grocery store. So that's where I end up spending a ton of extra money that I don't really need to spend. So along with that, I'm gonna have to really plan my meals, which was a goal of mine beginning of January 2022, and I failed big time. I lasted a month and that was it. So. I will be trying to meal plan again, plan my grocery trips better, plan my ingredients so that I know when I go to the grocery store, I don't have to go again two days later because I forgot something or I don't have something that I need to go with a meal. So 
no extra trips to the grocery store for the month of January. I'm gonna have to use what I have, compromise, or come up with something completely different all on its own. Um, another thing that I won't be doing is um, I like to shop at on Zulily, which is like a discount website that I like to shop at, especially around the Christmas time. Um, so I will not be shopping at all on Zulily. I don't need anything from there. A lot of times what I do though is like I'll put things in my basket and then I'll never buy them. So it's like you get the rush of like, oh yeah, that would be great. But then I end up never buying it and the deal expires and it just goes away and it's not in my basket anymore. So I'm not even gonna tempt myself by looking at that website because I'm not gonna buy anything. Now I have made one exception to the rule for myself um, and that is buying something on Amazon if I need it for a video. So I have a lot of videos planned for the coming months and uh, I, I have been preparing. I have bought a couple things already, both from the thrift store and from Amazon. For things that I will be needing for those videos, I'm trying to plan ahead so that I really can be successful for this no spend January. Um, but I have made an exception for that. I will put in a small amount of money, maybe $30, into my budget of things that if I do need something for a video, I can go ahead and get that from Amazon and not feel like I am ruining my challenge. Those are the rules that I've put in place for myself and I've shared the tips with you that I've come up with to help make me successful in this challenge. I've never done anything like this before. I have no idea how challenging it's actually going to be. If you have, let me know in the comments and let me know if you had something that worked for you or didn't work for you. And if you do plan on participating in this challenge, let me know as well. Let me know what your rules are going to be. Are you going to be super strict or are you going to be a little bit more lenient? I think I'm going somewhere in the middle. Obviously, if an emergency comes up or something like that, I will be spending money. Knock on wood, my kids go to urgent care a lot. So let's hope we don't have any extra trips to urgent care or anything like that. But other than that, I'm going to try my very, very best to not spend any money in January. And I will be back with an update at the end of January to this video to see how everybody did and to let you know how I did too. Thanks so much for watching this video and hanging out with me as I went over my tips and tricks for starting this challenge and for how to be successful, as long as the rules that I've made up for myself. If you found value in this content, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Let me start over. So here's a little, a uh, couple, bleh. Okay, for starters, make a plan. Uh, make a plan and don't be stupid. Another tip too is, um, I forgot.